Hi, this is Cody from Scene Filler. I'm excited to share our first Blender plugin with you, Matte Painter. Matte Painter is an in-scene photo bashing tool designed to speed up your workflow when adding additional details to a scene. It's great for painting in clouds, fog, small details like machinery or image-based greebles, or for adding dense light planes to buildings for that futuristic city look. It takes advantage of Blender's built-in texture painter and the import images as planes function to quickly add images to a scene and paint the alpha channels like you might do inside Photoshop without ever having to leave the 3D viewport. Before we start, it's important to find high quality images. Nothing can help save a blurry or poorly taken photo. First, we import an image by clicking the import image button. Let's resize and position it to fit our scene. The Move Origin to Camera button will position the 3D cursor directly in front of the camera. This is useful to avoid having your images clip through your 3D geometry. Matte Painter automatically creates a collection and stores all of your imported images inside it. This is extremely useful for A-B comparisons or to control multiple images at once. Clicking Set Shaders automatically sets up the material, adds a few color correction nodes and creates a new transparency layer for painting. The image will completely disappear because our newly created transparency layer is filled with black. Clicking Matte Paint enters Texture Paint mode and puts us on the correct layer for painting. Let's make sure our color is set to white and start painting. If you need to erase, hold Ctrl and Blender will switch the color to black. We recommend using a soft round brush. You can set this up by clicking Fall Off and selecting Smooth. This workflow is enhanced even further by using a digital tablet. A common technique in digital painting is to duplicate an asset and paint a new transparency mask for it. Blender's material system doesn't handle this well by default, but the Clone Instance button lets us create and assign a new material and transparency layer for our duplicated image. We'll need to save the created images inside the Blend file. If you close the session, Blender will prompt you to save them, but we've added a Save All button for convenience. If you delete any layers, Blender doesn't remove them automatically. This can result in large file sizes and long loading times, so the Clean Unused button will purge all of the unused or unlinked data blocks inside the Blend file. This is also handy to avoid any file naming conflicts that might occur when working with lots of images. Finally, when you're happy with your painted asset, you can color grade it using the front end HSV and curves controls. These are directly linked to the currently selected object's materials, so you can quickly iterate over all of the images in your Blend file without ever leaving the 3D viewport. If you duplicate a color graded image, the settings will also be copied over, so you won't have to keep applying the same color grades every time. If your render is using a shallow depth of field, you can also add a quick and dirty blur to help better integrate your imported image into the scene. I hope this video has helped give you some insight into the Matte Painter plugin and workflow. We hope this add-on helps you create some amazing things inside of Blender. If you'd like to watch the entire city speed paint, the link will be in the description.